Good morning, guys and girls, and welcome to another edition of Paul K. Saturday Mornings Outdoors. We are up here in God's country, and I took a road trip for the 2023, I call it the Nerd Fest. It's called Near Fest, New England Amateur Radio Fest. And it's a whole convention for amateur radio operators and people that love shortwave listening and CB radio and mostly amateur radio operators. There's a lot of seminars here uh, for learning about amateur radio, but mostly guys come for the flea market, which you buy high-end, low-end amateur radio gear used and new, and people are starting to show up. It's really early in the morning, and there's a few lines to the entrances here that start to form, and it'll open up in about probably 45 minutes. So the tension mounts and the thrill mounts, and uh, it's a yearly, th uh, by twice a year they have it, and uh, we have it, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So stay tuned, and we'll give you a tour of the area for the 2023 New England Amateur Radio Fest, and we're going to have a little fun and see what we can pick up. Trail off, we'll let you know. And it's just about opening time, and uh, they're starting to wind up on both sides here. And this is truly God's country. You know, you're in God's country on the way up when you gotta slow down and let porcupines cross the road, and that happened this morning. So it's uh, <laughs> about halfway up in Deerfield, New Hampshire, which is the New Hampshire State Campground, and we hold this here twice a year. And, uh, cut them loose in a little short while and uh, fill this place up. This will be packed in here. It's going to be a nice day. It's almost close to freezing this morning, but it's supposed to be up in the 60s. So looking forward to a good time. Release the hounds. And they're all coming up here. This would be the CEO and the devil dog flag. The leader of the group, basically. Most of these guys... Oh, a lot of these ham operators are military guys, and uh, the purpose of amateur radio itself is for civil defense. Anytime there's a uh, emergency situation, such as a hurricane or uh, anything, nuclear, massive fires, and all communications is out, maybe people are hurt, uh, these guys and myself set up portable stations all self-powered in every mode you can possibly think of to get in the uh, uh, communications so that people can get saved that's why we're allocated by the FCC uh, probably billions of dollars worth of subbands that uh, commercial uh, people would pay tons for but this is needed. We need this for our country. So that's the origins of amateur radio and the purpose, basically civil defense. Other than that, in the hobby mode, it's just one of the most fascinating hobbies. If you're a shortwave listener or you're a, uh, you don't have to have a license to listen on anything on the bands and everything like that. And uh, it's very attractive. If you're into CB, uh, that's how I originally got into this. I, started in CB way back in the 70s when CB was CB and uh, it's a fascinating hobby it's a great thing to get into and uh, a lot of uh, you can volunteer for stuff which uh, helps people and that's what amateur radio is all about so Like building antennas, they have every possible component, which is uh, most hams do. What happened to them guys that are up the one oh four microphone? I figured they were falling you off the Jeffrey's ledge. They're both flipped over. 
I hope to have my boat in the water this year, but yeah. I still haven't found I went out and bought 15 horse Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> It'll make it 300 yards before we die. One of the modifications of crystal radio when they first came out with tubes and an amplifier. Pretty interesting. It's a gorgeous day up here and there's something for everybody. Tons of stuff. A lot of the um, immigrants come here that are into CB and they buy these 3,000 watt uh, um, amplifiers. And those are the big loud voices you hear on the CB. Speaking of that, the classic CB radios. You get everything here. Amplifier. So I have this transceiver one of the best transceivers out there and that's military spec icom 718 and uh he wants 325 for this one and that's about a fair price for that and that's it's for listening you don't transmit on it but it's one of the finest finest radios that are out there up to military specs everything icom makes is really good and, uh, and cool high-end vibroplex here how much for the vibroplex uh, that's $225. Yep, that's about right. Okay. <laughs> but not only all kind of crazy good eats here too, all along the way. But not one of these guys needs this kind of food. <laughs> Including So you never know what you're gonna find uh, down to uh, scuba diving gear. How's that for eclectic? Get a microscope. Life jacket shark chase. Old school telegraph keys, all different varieties. All for sale. Going anywhere. How many does this make? It's a camera. How many? How many ham fests is this for you? Oh, good. That's something, isn't it? That's great, and Devil Dog too, right? Devil Dog. Yeah, yeah daggone I love right. Dead bastards. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I love them. Devil that's Dog. right. Hurrah, right? I got a box home right now. <laughs> antenna wire for building antennas. You'll find tons of that here. All everything, everything they do with it. A lot of old school gear here. High quality stuff. You got to know what you're doing a little bit. It's not too complicated, but there's tons of this stuff here. This two meter has a magic eye right here. Oh, that thing. And as you tune into it, it uh, gives a very yeah, this, clear. You might want to hold a separate uh, uh, that presses in there. Picture. I just left it off so you could see it. Old school Broadcast shortwave bands, receivers. All the hand bands and many of the, whatever shortwave listening bands came with it. So there are four banks that are empty. 19 out of 23 are full. Uh, it's not my rank, rank, but I'm selling them for a friend of mine, and I did some research. And at every ham fest everywhere in the world, we you have these. It's all free, no matter what it is. It's some stereo equipment, electronic equipment. It's stuff that guys don't want to lug home. And uh, <laughs> if you need it, you take it, and it can be anything and everything. <laughs> Great bunch of guys. Here's a typical ham van with all the antennas on top. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. What kind of camera is that? That's a, Jesus, that's a spy like a, camera. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Ameritron L80B is one of the most desirable amps out there, and he's asking 554. What does it need a tube or something? Is that what it is? You need a tube in that? So oh, no, I got whole setup. Tube. This is in back of the campground here where the Nairfest is, and I'm always, of course, looking for uh, fishing spots, fishing holes, and look at this beautiful looking rill. It's just got that New Hampshire look about it. <laughs> you see it too well through the trees, but there's got to be trout in here. Absolutely beautiful. Looks pretty daggone clean. I don't know if it's clean or not, but I bet you it is. Classic trout stream. Just gorgeous. 
Cow Hampshire, and this is God's country up here too. I bet your kids can use this as a swimming hole too. It's pretty steep here, and that looks like it's pretty deep. Good for going in for a dip. How's this for Cow Hampshire beauty? Where do you see this? Look at that for a rill. Oh my gosh, there's gotta be trout in there or fish. This is just stunning. It ain't got the people crap. You know what I mean? It's not all polluted. As for that matter, I don't see any sign of any kind of trash, nowhere or nothing. Just gorgeous. Be careful I don't fall in here. <laughs> but look at that. There's got to be trout in there. Man, if I only had a fly rod. This is so picturesque. Gorgeously stunning. Let's see if I can see any fish actually see fish it's pretty daggone clear it's pretty deep there too that's got to be four feet anyway beautiful run you know what else too uh this uh this is uh full-on moose country and there's on the screaming eagle highway out there and all along and through it is moose crossing sign so i've seen them before but i'd love to get one on film it'd be great to get a moose on film to show you guys, man, what a huge, they're horses that are deer. <laughs> but there's a good chance of seeing moose out here too. God's country. And the, so, so far, the first go round back to the car. This is what I bought so far. I came here for this. I need one of these or maybe even two if I can find another one. I am getting steels today. This is simply a, uh, antenna mount for the roof a lightweight one but uh, you can even use it as a ground on the ground as a ground uh, ground tripod and uh, very handy to have $15 normally brand new they sell for about I would say 60 bucks and so this next item it's absolute steel if you know what this is if you're into it and I am into this it is metal detecting and this is a Garrett Master Hunter ADS-7. I have the ADS-3 and to this day reviews on it claim to be one of the best detectors ever made and this was three versions above mine and it's got two coils. It looks in really good condition. He said he just doesn't use it anymore. It's got the case, two coils, every single thing you got. Normally I think this is about an $800 machine. $20. $20 for this, but he says it works. It, I believe him because these guy, kind of guys, they're elderly and they're not going to bullshit you. I don't think. I hope not, but 20 bucks, unbelievable. And the third thing I bought, all light money here, and these are steels, but uh, this one's just a good buy, but I don't really need this because it's basically a frequency counter, which I have a really high end one. But K68 and anti spy detector, what it is, is uh, it detects. Uh, it's kind of a paranoid thing, but I like it because it's a, a frequency counter. It'll tell you uh, basically if there's any kind of uh, uh, cameras in a bathroom or tags on your car or something like that. But I have a frequency counter that'll do the same thing way better, but this was $40. So I think they go for about 100 bucks, and uh, it's almost brand new. So those are my three prizes so far, and I'm going back in. <laughs> Let's in. So I think that'll do it on this go around. It's a gorgeous day up here in Cow Hampshire, out at Deerfield Campground, and a spectacular day. Got me a whole bunch of other people's junk, and I'm happy with it. <laughs> and uh, I think everyone else is having a good time on such a spectacular spring day. So I hope you like this edition, and I hope you can appreciate what amateur radio is. And just if you like listening to the short wave and messing with CB too, this is a great place to come up to. And this is only like one-tenth of it right here, as you can see, as far as the eye can see. This is, it's huge. It goes all the way up in that direction, up into the woods. So get to one of these things. You'll have a lot of fun and buy stuff for real cheap if you like gadgets like I do. And we'll see you next time. Uh, Trailbox.